How's it going guys? It's Richard. Now, this video is a little bit different to the sort of thing I'd normally do. It's not specifically about RuneScape content, but if you watched my Herb Run guide in like a few videos ago, I think it was a good two weeks ago now that I made that, it basically highlighted quite a good way of making money with very little effort. Now, what I've spent the last few weeks doing, well, mm, like last sort of week or so doing is making a program that can work out what's the best profit you can make with herb runs. If you don't know what a herb run is, then I'll leave a link in the description to my herb run guide, which basically explains what they are, the best ways to do them, and sort of anything that can help you along the way. Now, if you download the file that I've got linked in the description, then you'll be left with this file here in your download folder. Now, if you just quickly open that up, let's close that one in the background, you'll be left with this interface. Now, essentially, this is the way that you can control the modifiers on how, like, on what you're doing in your herb run. For example, Magic Shakateurs, which increases your yield by 1.1, Juju Potion, which increases it by an average of 1.33, and Scroll of Life, which has a chance of saving seeds, and various other things like the Green Fingers Aura, that can give you a chance of receiving extra herbs, that sort of thing. Now, essentially, if you if you have these items, like, for example, if on your herb run you were using the Magic Shakateurs, you'd tick that checkbox there, and the same if you're drunk a Juju Potion, and if you've activated the Scroll of Life. This here is the Green Fingers Aura. Now, obviously, if you don't have the Green Fingers Aura, you leave it like this. But if you're activating the Aura, then you can move it up the different stages depending on what stage of the Green Fingers Aura you have. So, I personally, I have the Supreme Green Fingers. Also, apologies for the image. It seemed to have lost its background in this image, but that's just uh, how it goes with editing sometimes. But yeah, that's um, so this is the different factors that I have when I perform a Herber, and I have all of these four benefits. Now, this bit here controls what you do with the herbs once you farmed them. Now you could you could clean them when uh, when you pick the herbs a lot of people clean them before they note them with the tool leprechaun or you can leave them grimy or you can make them into an unfinished potion. Now what an unfinished po if, if an unfinished potion is essentially what you do when you add the herb to water to a vial of water but what this scroll of cl cleansing item does here it has a 10% chance of saving the herb that you used when adding to the potion. So this essentially gives you a 1.111111 reoccurring additional herbs, like additional unfinished potions. So if you tick that, because I actually have that affected as well. Now this is the herb you'll be using on the run. So um, like for example, I, I actually I do snapdragons for the most part, besides one patch that's got torstals. So I'll click the snapdragon and I use all five patches. Obviously you might not have access to the fifth patch on Trollheim. So you'd obviously change that to four or f or any other number depending on whether or not you had access to them. And then you would click the calculate button and then it will tell you how much profit you would make per run. Now that's how much profit I can make estimated per run. Uh, obviously you've got to keep in, keep in mind that that is the grand exchange prices. Now you might have paid more or less for your herbs or you might sell them for more or less in the future. And also the random nature of herb law means that you will obviously receive it's possible to receive more or less but this is the average using statistics that I have had before now something else that you might find particularly useful is this find me the best button here now this essentially brings up a second interface and then you you do you know you key in all your variables as before like whether or not you have these items still available and um, obviously I, I have all of these available then you enter your farming level and mine is 87 and if you click the calculate button, it will find you the best herb possible at your farming level to give you the best profit. Now, it will also tell you what you should do with that herb, like whether you should clean it, whether you should leave it as grimy, or whether you should make it into unfinished potions. So if you click that calculate, it will tell me what the best is for me. It takes a while, obviously, because it has to access the Grand Exchange, which the API for that, if you don't know, is Application Programming Interface. It can take a while to access because obviously it has to do an individual request for each item. And then that leaves you with the information. So for me, it's Torstals, and it'll make you an approximate 370k when using all five patches. So there you go. That's um that's a very useful thing that you can do. I mean, think about that. You can do a, a, a herb run approximately every hour and 20 minutes at a minimum, or an hour and hour and 40 minutes at a maximum time to require all your herbs to grow. So that's 370k per hour and a half, let's say, as an average, which is a pretty nice addition to the amount of money you earn. So that's, um, that's all pretty useful. You can obviously change that to all that you have, like for example, if you only have like level nine farming, which is the lowest requirement, and have none of these buffs, then you can still expect to make 17K per five patches when using Guams, which is a little bit of extra cash, isn't it? If you're a lower level farmer, that's the sort of thing you can do as a benefit. Obviously Toad Flax is at level 38, and uh, let's say for example, you've actually went, you've got Magic Secateurs, they're quite easy, and you've got like a level two Green Fingers. Click the Calculate button, 
obviously it, it, it takes longer to calculate the higher your farming level is because it has to go through all the possible options and then spirit weeds which are a nice 170k which so it's a low farming level but it's got a lot of money anyway that's um that's basically what this little application does it's um i'm gonna I actually personally use it which is surprising for a piece of software that i've written and um it's quite you know it's something that you might find useful now if you're interested in programming at all then I will actually I'll be leaving the source code in the description as a separate download so you can actually have a look at the source code obviously you'll know that it's not like a virus or anything because it will just be a text file so you can have a look at the code and everything in and if you're actually if you're interested in learning then feel free to send me a PM on YouTube or Twitter I'll leave my Twitter in the description and then I'd, I'd really I'd ha be happy to help you with programming and obviously if people would be willing to give me tips on programming because I'm far from the best but anyway this is something that I don't know you might you might find beneficial I personally do so if you could leave a like if you have if you've used it and find it to be useful then that would mean a lot to me and uh, just you know comment anything that I can improve on it and um, subscribe and tell me if you would like me to do any more things in the future like this anyway thank you very much for watching guys and I hope to see you all in the next video